Most of us have probably experienced a headache or a hangover or a sprained ankle or sore back and we've reached for Advil, which is ibuprofen, some Tylenol, which is acetaminophen or paracetamol in other parts of the world, or aspirin, which is acetosilic acid. But have you ever wondered what the difference is between the three of these drugs, between acetaminophen or paracetamol, acetosilic acid, and ibuprofen? Advil is ibuprofen, Tylenol is paracetamol, or in the United States, it's acetaminophen. And they're both proprietary brand names. Aspirin is a proprietary brand name for acetosilic acid. Ibuprofen and aspirin are both considered non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. You've probably seen that notation somewhere. Paracetamol, or acetaminophen, if you're in the United States, isn't. But its mechanism and how it works is very similar. It just isn't as effective in anti-inflammatory things, such as a sprained ankle or a sore back. All three of them, ibuprofen, acetaminophen or paracetamol, and acetosilic acid, all work pretty much the same way. They work by blocking an enzyme called COX, or in the case of paracetamol or acetaminophen, it's very selective to COX-2. But they block this enzyme that controls or operates your pain pathways. The exact way this all works is unclear. Doctors and researchers don't know exactly the manner in which it works, but they do know that it works. All three of these drugs, Advil or ibuprofen, Tylenol, which is paracetamol or acetaminophen in the United States, and aspirin, which is acetosilic acid, all work to block your pain pathways. What's the takeaway here for you if you have a headache, a hangover, sprained ankle, sore back? The big thing you need to take into account is that ibuprofen and aspirin, or acetosilic acid, are going to work better for a sprained ankle, a sore back, or any type of muscle or joint pain than Tylenol is. Tylenol is really good for a headache, and all three of them will work really good for a headache. But ibuprofen and aspirin are going to work better when you need something that's going to control inflammation, when you want an anti-inflammatory drug, than Tylenol is. Now, what you can also do is you can take a little of each. So you could take a Tylenol and an ibuprofen, especially in the case of a hangover or in a sprained ankle, where it's not just in your head and it's not just your muscles. You're actually experiencing pain, but you actually need that anti-inflammatory effect. Works very well. A lot of doctors will recommend that. As is the case with any medication, you probably should consult your doctor first so that you're making sure you're not having conflicting medications or things like that. Always a good idea and actually always a good legal disclaimer when we're doing a video talking about drugs. So the next time you have a headache, hangover, sprained ankle, hopefully you'll have a better idea of what you should reach for. If you have any questions you'd like answered here at Questionus Eruptus, leave a comment below. We'll see if we can get an answer for you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll be back soon with more great answers to your questions.